Hi, my name is Indiara Matthews, and I'm the research services librarian for the Douglas and Henry Regional Academic Centers. And today, I will show you how to find primary sources using primary source sets. So to get to primary source sets, you're going to go to the library website, which is libraries.mercer.edu. And once you get to the home page, you're going to click on this databases A through Z button down here. And once you're on this page, you're going to click on the letter P. And then you will scroll down until you see primary source sets, which is right here. So there are different ways to can search for primary resources on primary source sets. You can search by subject by clicking this drop down menu, or you can search by time period as well. So let's say I wanted to find resources about reconstruction during the Civil War, and I can click on Civil War and Reconstruction down here. And then I will get a list of different collections that come up based on this particular time period. And if I wanted to browse through any of these collections, I can definitely do that. So let's say I want to browse through this one, where it says Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl by Harriet Jacobs. So I will click on it. And then I would be led to the to the resources within the collection. And if I wanted to read any of these resources or inspect any photos more closely, I can just click on any of the resources. So I'll click right here. And then I'll be redirected to the to the primary source. The other way you can search is by using the search bar up here towards the right, where it says search in the collection. So if I wanted to, again, find information about reconstruction, I can just type in that keyword and then hit search. So as you see here, I get a list of resources based on reconstruction. So let's say I wanted to click on any one of these. I can definitely do that. So I will click on this one right here, the source by W.E.B. Du Bois. And then I'll just click on where it says view full item and then I'll be, be redirected to the full item. And there's also a PDF option of this as well. So I can click on that and to take a closer look. Okay, and then here is the primary source right here. Okay, so let's say I wanted to find images. So if I come over here to the left, I can use these filters to select which specific primary resources that I want. So I can do that by selecting images. And then I would get a bunch of photos. And then if I wanted to, I could also search uh, the year that I want these primary sources to be from. So that's also another filter you can use. And you can also search by location as well. And the last thing I wanna show you is this how to use it uh, feature right here. So this just gives you information on how you can use these different primary sources. If you click on the I right next to it, it will lead you to this page that talks about the copyright of the images or the videos or other primary sources that you see listed in the collection. And it just gives you more information on how you can use these things. So let's say if you were in a classroom and you wanted to show these primary resources to your students, this will kind of help you determine how you will be able to do that. And they give you a full breakdown of what each category means. So this can be really useful. So that was all for this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can contact us on our Ask a Librarian page. You can chat with us, you can schedule a research consultation, you can email us, or you can call us at any one of these numbers you see listed here. Thank you for watching. Bye.